losing four matches already. So not going to feature in the top half of the table, unlike Japan, who have climbed into the top half with their terrific performance here this week. Three victories already and now seeking to win three matches in a row for the first time. Whereas Germany, one spot off the bottom of the table, tied in points with Russia and Korea. Only Bulgaria, the sole debutants at this year's VNL, remain below them in the table. They are rooted to the bottom, still in search of their first win. So, the captains are both wearing number three, Denise Hanka and Nana Iwasaka. Japan winning the toss and electing to serve. And it's a long running rivalry, this one. That one is one that's dominated by Japan, but those numbers take into account all of the meetings that they have had over the years, including as West and East Germany. 34th competitive meeting between these two nations when you consider that history before the unification of Germany. And if we're going back that far, it's perhaps worth reiterating that one Germany's best success in world level major competition came as East Germany when they claimed silver at the 1980 Moscow Olympics. But since unification, still in search. of a win in world level major competition. And the recent history favors Japan heavily as they have won eight of the last nine matches at world level majors. So the Japanese lineup then. So much speed throughout their system. Invariably, they're often shorter than the teams that they face off against at world major level. And it's an eight centimeter height advantage across the board on average enjoyed by Germany. But Japan will look to counter that with terrific speed. As we see Ishii leading scorer in the competition for Japan, 94 points in the 2019 VNL so far. She was joint top scorer for her team yesterday, producing 17 points. 16 attacks and one ace. She was absolutely sensational for her squad. And it is a really profitable area of plunder. That left wing attack setting up Ishii. Akutagawa was really strong in the win over Russia yesterday. 15 points coming on 13 clean attacks and two blocks at the net. Again, the low step set point over the net. Sees her climb up quickly and put it away precisely. And there's one of her two stuff blocks that she enjoyed. Coming up with a big points total of 15 against Russia in that 3-1 win. So the, Jap the German lineup then, well, they've got to find some inspiration from somewhere Germany have now lost three matches in straight sets at this year's VNL and that's as many as they lost in the entire 2018 VNL campaign so Louisa Lippmann was the top scorer for them yesterday and by scoring 14 points, all from attacks, she was actually the only scorer in double figures for Germany in what was a rather routine victory enjoyed by the host nation. So Louisa Lippmann going to be looking from, for some assistance. And Marie Scherzel has been solid throughout. Nine points in matches three and four before posting eight points yesterday against Turkey. Six attacks, two blocks against the host nation. But again, very difficult to pick out bright spots.
spot overall for Germany, given the manner in which they were defeated. Posting just 16 and 25 points in sets two and three. Gives you an idea that they were never really in any part of the match. The only lead they took in that match, that straight sets defeat against the host nation, was when they went ahead 2-0 in set number three. Prior to that point, they never had their noses in front on the scoreboard. So can they get off to a better start? Can they make a better fist of it as they prepare to face off against the sixth-ranked team in the world? David Fernandez Fuentes is the first referee from Spain. And his colleague, the second referee, Dobromir Dobrev from Bulgaria. National anthem of Germany. So the pins that have been exchanged at the nets being admired by the respective teams. Germany still all smiles as they go in search of their second win in VNL play. There's Japan looking to roll through week two play here in pool six undefeated. Which would be the first ever time that they have won three VNL matches in a row. Germany will have other ideas as they get their starting lineup introduced to the fans here, led out by their captain, Denise Hanka.
And now for the introductions of Japan. So the starting lineup then for Germany, Lenka Burr back in action as the libero after she didn't feature in the second match here yesterday, replaced by Pogany. In terms of the libero, libero role, and we've got a change at the libero position for Japan as well. Because checking into action is Yamagishi. Kani Moria, who goes by the shirt name of Yamagishi, and she replaces Kobata, who takes a breather after two terrific performances in the opening two matches here in Pool 6 play. So, first set underway, Japan serving. Oh, Nabea producing the point-winning play on the cross-court kill. Germany able to get a hand on it, but not able to control the contact that they made and it's Japan who opened the scoring good save by Yamagishi so Louisa Lippmann sees a spike turn back but the Japanese blockers can't control the direction of the rebound and we are all square at one point, of, one point apiece. Lippmann, Germany's leading scorer in the competition. Opening the account for Germany. They're serving. And it's Paul preparing to serve. So Germany come away with the point. After the ball struck by Kurogo, made contact with the barber pole. That out of bounds. And so it's Germany who take an early lead, 2-1 on the pole serve. Quick reflexes to recover by Watanabe and then the spike Sends Lenkader diving to her right, but she can't keep it in play for Germany. And we are all square, two points apiece. Nabea with her second point of the match. So Kurogo serving. And it's an ace on the first serve of Kurogo, who didn't feature heavily yesterday, but was the leading scorer for her team in the victory on the first match of pool play over Turkey. Terrific save by Yamagishi. What a double save by the Libero. But Japan can't keep it in bounds despite the tremendous effort. But what reflexes. She was knocked down once. And then watch her get back to her feet. Not only get back into position, but control the direction of the contact. Fantastic play. But it's point to Germany to tie things up at three. And that service error hands the point to Japan. Edge ahead by one. Terrific kill by Lippmann. Second point of the match for her to tie things up at four points apiece. The reverse set, an effective one from her captain, Hanker. 90 kilometers per hour plus from Lippmann. 
Nabea with the spike. Paul digs it out. Backcourt spike pushed over by Germany. So Nabea, according to action, deflected at the net. Lenkadur with the set. A backcourt spike is cannoned down from Louisa Lippmann, whose radar is spot on to begin this match. Taking off from behind that front court attack line, and the speed gun continues to be cranked up further. 93 kilometers per hour on that put away from Lippmann, taking her to three points in the match so far. Germany lead by one. Wide of the sideline, it appeared to be, but has the point gone in favor of Japan? Was it in fact inbound? And if so, that is wonderful precision. Utagawa with her first point of the match, and we are tied at five. So Nabea serving. Rare start for her today in terms of week two play. The point to Japan. They edge ahead by one because Nabea, her composure has normally been called upon when the winning line is in sight for Japan in the closing stages of a set. And invariably, she has come on like a relief pitcher in baseball and closed out the victory. Here, a start for her, and she's in the thick of the scoring already. So she can't defend that one, though, as it went straight down the sideline. To tie things up at six on the scoreboard. Well judged by Japan because there can't have been much in it. Orthman with that jump spike serve. Just a little bit too much depth. Puts Japan up by one. So Ishii serving. Well put away by Scherzel. The reverse set. Deflected out of bounds by Korogo. Well, the back and forth nature of this opening set continues. The next point will bring up the first technical timeout, but who will prevail? It is Japan who take it to lead 8 7 at the first technical timeout. Neither side has led by more than one. Plenty of ties in this opening set so far. But it's Japan. You bring up the first technical timeout with a one point advantage. Well, Louisa Lippmann didn't really feature until deep into the match yesterday. Deep into the second set was when she made her first appearance on court. And perhaps that rest of not playing the usual amount of heavy minutes that she does as a starter, Germany's leading scorer, has seen her come out firing on all cylinders to begin this third match in week two play. 94 kilometers per hour on one of her putaways. So Kutagawa serving, Japan lead 8-7. Very clever touch from the German captain. Denise Hanka just tickling it over the net to square things up at eight. Wonderful direction. And it's Hanka now preparing to serve. Good hustle from Germany, but the reverse set. Seeing the Japanese spiker find the space. It was Watanabe who just manages to avoid 
three diving German defenders to put Japan ahead by one. And an unreturnable serve. Sees Japan up by two, this second ace of the match. But then service error from Sato after that ace. Hands the point to Germany to reduce the deficit to one. Terrific put away. Nabea with the high flying leap and hammering that one down on a steep trajectory. Fantastic speed on the arm. And her placement was true. Oh, it's another unreturnable serve. Orthman unable to deal with the deviating dipping ball that came in her direction from Karogo. And Karogo with a second ace of the match. Well judged by Germany, allowing that one to land. And relieved to see it be on the outside of the sidelines from their perspective. So it's a two-point affair once again. Japan have led by as many as three. Well, point to Germany. I think that's the second time that Nebea has put the barber pole in jeopardy. Complete miscommunication between the Japanese defensive setup because the initial bump off the backcourt touch from Pole was claimed by two players, Ishii and Nabea converged, and ultimately they put it beyond the reach of the rest of their teammates. We're all square at 12, Grunding serving. And again, Nabea with her fourth point of the match to lead all scorers, edges Japan ahead by one. <laughs> Terrific kill by Orthman. Watanabe, the server, unable to retrieve that one. with three points in the match now. So it's Lippmann with the serve, but a service error is put straight into the net. So the bear to serve, the match's leading scorer to this point with four. Oh, that is terrific hitting from Orthman. Receiving the set and putting that spike deep into the backcourt. Watch the way she finds the space here over the top of the Japanese blockers at the net. And we are all square at 14. Lenka Derp with the effective dig. Germany get it over on the third contact. The backcourt spike is floated over by Japan. Nabea with a high set. And then Ishii managing to find the space after Germany were pulled all over the court. They were attacking down the right-hand side, Japan, but then they switched it with a deep set and Ishii did the rest. Germany's blockers breached. As Japan edge ahead by one. Good save by Yamagishi. Oh, fantastic hitting at the net. What a terrific point. 
And it would be interesting to see the speed gun on that spike because it came crashing down. Look at the high flying Corogo there. 84 kilometers per hour. We've seen faster from Luisa Lippmann, but the impression that left one with was that it was an absolute rifle shot. Lenkader could do nothing about it. And at the second technical timeout, it is Japan who lead by two. Well, we mentioned that Nebea during this second week of play has often been used coming off the bench, closing out the sets when Japan are in a winning position. Here she's got a start. And she is using this starting role magnificently. Four points in the match already. She posted 14 points in a defeat against the USA in the second match of week one play. 12 attacks and a couple of service aces. And she's made a strong start here. Her team ahead by two, Ishii serving. Very cleverly placed by Pulp. Second point in the match for her. And that ends the run of back-to-back -back points put on the board by Germany. Excuse me, by Japan to bring Germany back to within one. So Lenka Dürr taking a seat on the bench for Germany. The Libro checking into the game is Grunding. So Scherzel serving. Fantastic hitting once again from Kurogo. Four points in the match for her now. Joint high scorer for the match, along with Nabea and Orthman. Japan lead by two once again. So substitutions for Japan. Futagawa takes a seat on the bench. On the bench, Miyashita checking in for her first action of this third match of week two play. Well, the bounce on the net cord going in favor of Germany. The block left the ball in the balance, as it were. Once the Japanese tandem get up here, it cannons off, but then the bounce off the net cord catches out Kurogo. She'd already gone to ground and couldn't make the adjustment. Germany back to within one. Yamagishi with the surface reception. What a reverse set and racing around to pile drive it down was Watanabe. Fantastic execution by Japan. Watanabe's second point of the match. And look at how quickly they changed the direction of the play. Wonderfully disguised, perfectly executed. Japan up by two. Well, in stark contrast to their straight sets defeat against Turkey, Germany doing a fantastic job of keeping themselves in contention in this opening set. Good reception by Hanka. And then put away at the net by Lippmann. Lippmann moving to four points in the match now, all of them coming on attacks. Again, above the 90 kilometer per hour mark. She really has got that right arm working. Quick reflexes, Germany respond and get it over in a scramble, but that gives Japan time to set. And it's Germany who come out on top. Their resilience rewarded. Fantastic reflexes and evidence by Germany to keep themselves in the point. Because look at this, Lippmann, off the elbow of Grunding, then it was pushed over. And then the attempted spike turned back by a monster block at the net. Grunding coming up big during the course of that point. Time out. With Japan trailing by one. Okay, stoppen die Außenleute, nicht fliegen mit dem Bett. 
nicht fliegen mit dem Band. Wirklich raus. Stopp. Inhand rein. Am schnellen Ball. Stopp. Hoher Ball. Linie geschlossen. Los. 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 Weiter gehen jetzt. Los. Weiter gehen. So Germany went ahead in the early stages, two points to one. And prior to getting their nose in front here, their last lead was at 5-4. Plenty of ties since that point. Good hustle by Orthman. Backcourt spike set up for pole, and it's a point-winning play. Nothing that Ishii and Sato could do to keep that one alive for Japan. And Germany with their largest lead of the match. A two-point advantage, 2018, and they have rattled off four points without reply. Well, something of a missed hit from Sato, but I'm sure she will take it. Excuse me, it was Watanabe with the point. And that stems Germany's run of unanswered points. Japan back to within one. Kurogo serving, 19-20. Wide of the mark on the attempted put away from Lippmann. And that inaccuracy sees Japan back on level terms. Curving away from the libero, but also beyond the sideline. Kurogo serving. Well, that's deflected out of bounds. Lippmann back into business immediately. Five points in the match for her now. So Germany making a substitution. Scherzel checking into the match. Lenka Dürer taking a seat on the bench. Grunding serving. Well, Ishii comes away with the point because the German blockers couldn't control the contact. It landed out of bounds, and we are all square at 21. Oh, and an unreturnable serve from Japan. Sees them take the lead. What a time to come up with the fourth ace of the opening set. Germany calling timeout. The business end of this opening set, and it's Japan with a one-point advantage. Runtergehen mit den Händen. Du musst immer hier bleiben. Auch in der Lateralbewegung. Wir brauchen nur einen schnellen Dusch. Okay, nicht mehr. Und zu spät geht raus. Bisschen mehr Position 4 antizipieren. Okay, los. So Watanabe serving four points in the match to this point. Clever dink over the net from Lippmann. She squares things up at 22 as she goes to six points in the match. She's demonstrated her pulverizing power, but here was the deftest of touches, defying the descending Japanese defenders to tie things up on the scoreboard. So. Lippmann taking a seat on the bench. Imaudu called into action with the serve. Well, the server managed to get it. Contact on the spike that came over from Japan, but it's ja Japan who come away with the point. Set up in the middle, low contact point for the spike. But Akutagawa moves to three points in the match as Japan go in search of set points. Timeout called by Germany once again. They've used all of their timeouts in this first set. Just listening to Felix Kozlowski. Uh, Jana, Jana, you are here. No, not. We are here. We are here. Jana here. 
Hanna hier. Okay? Kimi läuft. Kimi läuft. Ja, mit dem Locker. Kimi, wo ist Kimi? Kimi ist hier. Kimi ist hier. Mit dem Locker. Ihr müsst dazwischen stehen. Zwischen vier und diagonal. Okay, los. Well, it's Nabea who has the serve, and she was called in for this exact type of responsibility off the bench in matches one and two during week two play. Yamagishi with the set. Ishii down the left flank. It cannons off Lenka Der. She pounds her quads in frustration because she couldn't control the direction of the defensive dig. And it's Ishii who comes away with another point to bring up set point. Ishii now with three points in the match. Japan with a two-point advantage. And once again, Nabea's cool-headed temperament in clutch situations being called upon once more. She's serving. Set point. Germany have made substitutions. Well judged by Germany, they elected to leave it alone and it went long beyond the baseline. So Japan unable to close out the set at the first opportunity. Germany looking to force this one to two clear points. Orthman taking a seat on the bench. Barber checking in. Barber with a strong performance yesterday. Seven points on six attacks and an ace in the defeat against Turkey. She's serving now. Ishii finding the space down the sideline. And Ishii's fourth point of the match. Sees Japan take the first set by a scoreline of 25 points to 23. But Germany have requested a challenge. Has the barber pole been brushed once again? We've seen Japan concede points twice by coming into contact with the antenna. So here's the official review. I think you can see the deviation comes off the pinky finger of the German captain, Hanka. And so the challenge unsuccessful, and it is Japan who close out the first set in another close one. 25 points to 23, they lead by one set to nothing. So here's another look at the set point. Ishii moving to four points in the match. Joint high scorer for her team, along with three others on four points, an even spread of scoring for the Japanese side. How will Germany respond? Already they've lost three matches in straight sets in the 2019 BNL. They want to avoid that eventuality here. Here are the first set highlights. So we're taking a look at the setter contact points for Japan. 
the vast majority coming in and around the center of the court none on the left flank and they have favored the attack down the left wing Ishii so deadly in that type of domain she one of four players with four points for her squad so far So the second set about to get underway. Germany looking to get a set on the board. To tie things up at one. We we're close in the first set, but it's Japan who closed it out effectively. So Paul preparing to serve. Second set. Oh, what an adjustment. That is sensational. Watanabe climbing high, changing her body position in mid-air and just dinking this one over with the left hand. How about that? What a play. What athleticism from Watanabe. Japan take the first point. I'll dig that one out. Lipman again, putting the speed gun under pressure with yet another high-speed spike. Seven points in the match for her now. We are all square at one. Very well placed by Kurogo. Five points in the match for her now. On that, her third clean kill. Japan lead. So the reverse set causes Ishii to reach, but there's a contact, an illegal contact there. Ishii may well have collided with the net in extending to get a fingertip on this one. I think it's the barber pole again. <laughs> yes, indeed it was, third time in the match that Japan have come into contact with the antenna when striking the ball. They've requested a challenge. So which direction is this point going in? It was awarded to Germany. But Hawkeye being consulted. So the fault clearly discernible. Ishii making contact with the antenna. That hands the point to Germany. We are all square. Two points apiece. Lippmann serving. Once again, Ishii attacking down the left flank. Produces a point-winning spike. Five points in the match for her now. The team lead by one. So Nabea serving. Four points in a match so far. Difficult service reception by Orthman. Backcourt spike from pole dealt with by Yamagishi. The reverse set produces a point winning spike from Akutagawa. And Japan's execution efficient once again. So out of bounds on the attempted serve by Nabea. That ties or brings Germany back to within one.
So Orthman, four points in a match, a jump spike serve on its way. Dealt with effectively by Ishii. Backcourt spike is hammered down. Germany bounced it back on the first contact. Ishii down the left flank and comes up with another point winning play. Six points in the match now for Ishii to lead her team in scoring. The set placed high and wide by Sato. Japan lead by two. Ishii preparing to serve. Difficult reach, Lenka Dur, does she get it over? No, it was the wrong side of the pole, even though it went over the net. So Japan with their largest lead of the second set, the advantage is three. Very cleverly placed by Scherzel. Scherzel with her second point of the match. Terrific reception by Lenka Dur. Anguish on the expression of Yamagishi. The Libero not able to get underneath it. So Scherzel serving. Scherzel got a piece of it, Lippmann. Hustling after that ball, but couldn't get there before it came back down to earth. Terrific hitting once more from Lippmann. She leads all scorers in the match with eight, all of them coming on attack. So Hank of the German captain serving. Too many contacts. And it's J Japan who arrive at the eight point total to take us to the first technical timeout. And they lead by three. The reverse set proving profitable once again. Well put away by Japan to trigger technical timeout number one. Oh, Ishii leads. All of her team in scoring with seven points in the match so far, including an ace, as well as her six clean kills. Her attacking down the left wing has been powerful and precise. She's doing her usual outstanding job on the defensive side of the ball as well. Ishii leading Japan in scoring with 94 points coming into this final week two match. So Germany back to within two. So it's Paul preparing to serve. 6-8, second set. Effective blocking at the net by Germany. Yamagishi with the initial reception. They go back to Nabea on at the second time of asking. She comes up with the point winning play. The cross-court spike deflecting off the German defensive block and cannoning out of bounds. Japan lead by three once again, equaling their largest lead of this second set.
Easy put away at the net for Grunding. Perfectly placed by Hanka. So checking into the match for Germany is Scherzel. Lenkader, the Libro, takes a seat on the bench. Grunding preparing to serve. Four points in the match so far. Oh, that is sensational. What a set, what a put away. The reverse set was so quick, it was pra practically a line drive. And then Nebea popped up off the court and put over the deftest of touches. Quick reflexes by Kurogo. Japan adjust and get it over on the second contact. But then they were stretched all over the court. And it's Germany who take the point. They close the gap to two. So it's a three-point advantage once again here in the second set. Nebea serving. Terrific save by Yamagishi. Ishii gets it over. Outstretched die to a right by Pole keeps Germany in the point. They scramble it over on the third contact with Orthman. Backcourt spike is hammered down and put away by Korogo. Six points in the match for her now. Japan take their largest lead of set number two. The advantage is four. So Nabea with the serve. Japan lead 12-8. Well put away by Orthman. That takes her to six points in the match. Second leading scorer for her team, all of her points coming on clean kills. So Orthman preparing to serve. Ishii with the reception. Had to reach for that spike, what a save by Yamagishi. Ishii caught into action again. Lenkader with the dig. Fantastic concentration by Germany. Pole with the put away, takes her to five points in the match. Because Japan was scrambling, but look at this for a composed set from Hanka. And Pole, in amongst all that activity, went straight down the sideline to find the vacant space and reduce the arrears to two. Gishi with a difficult service reception. The block landing out of bounds, is it? That was my instinct. What say the officials? Point in favor of Japan. They go up by three, Germ breaking Germany's brace of back to back points. So Ishii serving, leading score up for her team so far with eight. Blocking at the net by Japan is effective. They must get it over on this contact. Kurogo repels a high-speed spike from Pole. She then gets it over on contact number three. Yamagishi with the dig of the backcourt spike from Orthman. Lenka Dur digging it out. Terrific rally, this one. Orthman calling Nebea into action. Yamagishi with quick reflexes once again. Kurogo with a delicate touch. What a rally. Point still alive, but it lands out of bounds, and the point concludes in favor of Germany. Well, a lung busting rally endured by both of the teams during the course of this point. Fantastic defensive de abilities on display. Just under 35 seconds. And 
the organization and communication was crisp and clear throughout, but the final contact and out of bounds of the Japanese player. Point to Germany. They trail by two. Scherzel serving two points in a match so far. Good save by Lippmann. So a backcourt spike hammered down by Ishii. Orthman digs it out. It goes over on the first contact. Ball close to the net. They come together over the ball. Deep push from Orthman. Kurogo. And Kurogo once again, not really getting off the court as effectively on these subsequent leaps, but there was no problem for Ishii. Bounding high from the backcourt to hammer that one straight down the centre. A super spike from Ishii. Watch her get off the ground here. Close to 90 kilometers per hour. And that prompts a celebration from Watanabe over on the sideline. An unreturnable serve. Well, no, it's actually out of bounds. I thought for a moment it was an error of judgment from Germany. But the ball goes long, and it is the point to Germany. So I wouldn't be surprised if a challenge is forthcoming here. Indeed, there's confirmation, because my initial instinct was that Germany had misjudged this one, electing not to play it. So there's a straight question as to whether it's in or out. And it is in! So an unreturnable serve indeed. Another ace on the Japanese total for the match takes them to six as they go up by four, equaling their largest lead of this second set so far. What an angle created by Kurogo. Well, during some of those lengthy rallies, I was just left with the impression that she wasn't getting up off the ground as effectively and as efficiently as earlier on in the match. But look at the cleverness here. Finding the acute angle, opening up the palm and carving it cross court to come up with her seventh point of the match. Take Japan to the second technical timeout with a five point lead, the largest of the set so far. Well, Watanabe, a crucial cog in Japan's success. She's got herself an ace, and there it was in her six point total, along with five clean kills as well. How about that for a wonderful piece of athleticism? Going up, looking to power this with the right hand and changing direction. The core strength required to do that and just kiss it over with the left hand. Hugely impressive from Watanabe. Six points in the match for her. One of a trio of Japanese players with a six point total as they continue to distribute the scoring evenly. So Japan looking to build on their largest lead of the second set. Akutagawa with the serve. Very cleverly placed by Paul. That takes her to six points in the match. And ends Japan's run of back-to-back -back unanswered points at three. So Hank is serving. That one long. And it's point and serve straight back to Japan. They lead by five once again. So Sato serves. Well, there's a challenge being launched here because Japan's immediate response was that they managed to get a 
palm on the court and the knuckles beneath the ball. Immediately, that was a reaction of the player who went to ground. So Hawkeye will be required to see whether the ball touched the floor or the athlete first. So here's the view. And the initial call will stand a floor touch. Despite the efforts of Sato, unable to keep it alive. And it's Germany who close to within four. How they could do with a run of points here to put Japan under pressure. But Neber ensures that it's a case of one and done for Germany. Super spike from Neber takes her to seven points in the match. Reverse set, excuse me, strong side set once again. Neber came flying through the air to put it away. Out of bounds from Lippmann. Japan now with their largest lead of the second set. The advantage is six. So Germany calling timeout after back-to-back -back points secured by Japan to give them their largest lead of set number two. So Ishii unable to control the contact off the big spike powered down by Germany. So Grunding preparing to serve. Four points in the match so far. What a spike from Ishii. Well dealt with by Paul. Second contact was from Grunding. Germany get it over on contact number three. Nebea climbing high. Good reaction from Hanker. Lippmann pushes it over on the third contact. And it's Japan who come away with the point. Germany's blocking at the net. Inaccurate. And it's a six-point lead once again for Japan as they arrive at the 20-point total. So it's going to be very difficult for Germany to turn this around now. But again, they'll want to make Japan work for it as Watanabe serves. So wholesale substitutions for Germany, checking into the game, Imaudo and Drevniok. And as is her custom, Drevnok made a real impact checking into this match, or into the match for Germany yesterday. Seven points on six attacks and an ace against Turkey. But it's Japan who get the point back to go up by six once more. As they edge towards the winning 25-point total in set number two. Well judged by Japan. And this one running away from Germany now, trailing by seven. So Germany electing to call timeout. Down by seven. Japan just three points away from taking the second set. They lead 22-15. Uh, 
Wir müssen unseren Aufschlag. Wir müssen über sie Meter unserem So in the bear serving. Germany up, trailing by seven. Lankadur having to make the adjustment. So to Kurogo in the backcourt for Japan. Ishii trying to find the sideline but spilling it out of bounds. And Germany get a point and the serve back. Still fit down by six though. Well placed down the sideline by Paul. Seven points in the match for Paul now. Defensive play, and then again it's Paul down the left side who has made it three points without reply for Germany. They are back to within four, having been down by seven. Japan calling timeout, Just looking to readjust their strategy. Hoping that this intermission will see Germany cool off a little bit. with quick reflexes and it's the point in favor of Germany who are edging back into contention now down by just three four points without response from Germany so Orthman serving She sent to the floor by that jump spike serve, but then Lenka Derp, her opposite number, couldn't keep it alive for Germany. And Japan now in search of set point on the clean kill straight down the middle from Kurogo. Eight points in the match for her now, and that her sixth point winning attack. So Barber into the game as Orthman takes a seat on the bench. Ishii with the serve. Terrific save by Yamagishi. Oh, it's a good effort, but ultimately in vain as Kurogo comes up with back to back points. Nine points in the match for her now. And it brings up set points for Japan. As they look to go into a two set to nothing lead. Ishii, the high scorer in the match, with the serve. 11 points for her so far. And it's the point to Japan on the Ishii serve. And it sees them close out set number two by a six-point margin. 25 points to 19, Japan take it.
and they lead by two sets to nothing. Germany are going to have to force this one to the five set distance if they hope to come away with this second win of the 2019 VNL. Japan in a strong position, having taken the opening two sets. So the winning point then on the Ishii serve. And it was Japan who were in control practically throughout. Let's take a look at the second set highlights. So look at the serve placement of Japan. You can see that they're favoring one side of attack far more than the other. You can see that the area of attack down that flank has been their main port of call for Japan, underpinning what is now a two-set-to-nothing lead. So Japan will be serving to get this third set underway. Sato with the serve, but it's a service error. Giving Germany a rare lead in this match so far. It's Grunding preparing to serve. Clever improvisation from Lippmann. But with all that space in the backcourt after Germany's scrambling efforts, it was an easy put away for Corogo. Straight down the sidelines to tie things up at one. By taking the first point here in set number three, that is Germany's first lead since they were ahead. 20 points to 18 in set number one. Well judged by Japan. They're just reinforcing that they feel there was no contact. And the point has gone in their favor. First lead of the third set. Yeah. 
So Watanabe unable to deal with that in the front court. All square, two points apiece. So Lippmann preparing to serve. Nine points in the match for her so far to lead her team in scoring. What a put away from Watanabe. Again, not necessarily a high contact point on the spike, but her timing is magnificent. Perfectly placed by Sato. Good blocking at the net by Japan. Ishii digs out the high-speed spike. Clever touch. Trying to play football over on that left side with Germany. They couldn't get the contact. But the fact that so many players went to ground in such a hurry requires the services of the floor-cleaning crew. Oh, what a block at the net, but Germany recover well. Failed to get it over on the third contact. And the forces combining in the front court to produce that monster block. Japan go ahead by three. So Germany requesting a challenge here, inquiring as to whether there was a net touch. So Germany correct to launch a challenge because Ishii and Akatu Akutagawa converged on the net and there was in fact a fault. So it's Germany who come away with the point. You can see consternation amongst the Japanese contingent at that ruling having gone against them. So rather than 5-2, it is now 4-3. Germany down by just one. So Orthman preparing to serve. Eight points in the match so far. She launches another rocket. So Lenka Dur repels the spike from Ishii. Pohl tries to put it over, blocked at the net. So Pohl with another bite at the cherry and once again. It's Akutagawa and Nebea in the mix on that monster block. Akutagawa with her first stuff block of the night. Fantastic penetration, reaching up high, going one-on-one -on -one with Pohl and prevailing in that particular duel. Nabea serving, Japan lead 5-3. Nabea with a terrific reception. And caught into action once again to provide the set on the second contact. Ishii gets it over. Lenka Dur's got to bump it over. There's too many contacts. 
Eagle eyed officiating. Sees the call go in favor of Japan. They lead by three. Largest lead of the third set so far. Germany open the scoring. That is the only time they have led. Fantastic strike down the sidelines from Scherzel. Four points in the match for her now. <laughs> Wonderful hitting. An apology proffered from Akutagawa. Make no mistake, she'll take the point, which takes her to seven in the match and puts Germany behind by three. Scrambling save by Lenka Dirk. Pole bumps it over on the third contact. Japan with plenty of time to set. They bring Ishii into action with a backcourt spike. Pole fires it in the direction of Ishii. It's hung up for Kurogo. Dug out by Pole. Quick fire exchange at the net. Pole caught into play once again. She touches it over delicately. Nabeo with the reception. The backcourt cannon from Ishii closes out that point. A fantastic rally. But it's Japan who come out on top and they arrive at the eight point total to bring up technical timeout number one with their largest lead of the set so far, concluding that 25 second exchange. Japan who lead eight points to four in this third set. So Ishii serving. Kurogo responds to get the ball off the net. She's then caught into action for her spiking abilities once again, and she comes up with the point-winning play. The deflection from Germany landing on their side of the net, and Kurogo moves to double digits, double digits in scoring now. Joint high scorer, or second joint high scorer with Nabea. Ten points in the match so far. Ishii with the serve. Terrific reflexes by, by Nabea. Nabea once again, but the point has gone in favor of Germany. stems a run of three unanswered points that Japan had put on the board. So their five-point advantage is short-lived. Germany back to within four. Hanker serving. Well, that's out by some distance from the German captain. to go with the serve. Effective dig by Ishii. That's a fantastic kill from Lippmann over a trio of Japanese defenders right over the top and deep towards the baseline. She brings her team back to within four. And takes Lippmann to 11 points in the match.
Wonderful hitting. Watanabe moves to seven points in the match. That is her sixth clean kill. And Japan leading by five. Germany calling timeout. Well put away at the net. It's Grunding who came up with the point. Very low set point for her to make contact with from Hanka. Five points in the match now for Grunding on that her fourth clean attack. So Nebea blocked effectively at the net. What a clever play, but it's just been pushed long. Terrific recognition by Germany there. Seeing all of the Japanese defenders dragged towards the net. Watch this for a play. Pushed over by Orthman. Yamagishi went hurtling after it in the event that it landed in bounds. But a sigh of relief as it just went to the correct part of the sideline from the Japanese perspective. They lead by five. What a hammer blow from Lippmann. 12 points in the match for her now. And one wonders what the speed gun registered on that particular occasion. She's been over 90 kilometers per hour on a regular basis and she's done so once again. So Lippmann serving. Lankadeur with a delayed dive to the court. Good reflexes by Sato. Germany scrambling. But the point goes in favor of Japan. We're keeping themselves in an advantageous position on the scoreboard. They are up by five once again. Their fifth five-point lead in the course of this third set. So Watanabe serving, 13-8. So pushed over on the third contact by Akutagawa. Well put away by Hanka. Sense that the Japanese defenses were at full stretch and pounced on that one immediately. So Germany could desperately use a run of successive points here. They've yet to do that in this third set so far. Orthman serving. Yamagishi with the reception. Nabea stretching the German defences. Oh, now Germany elected to keep it in bounds to extend the rally when it appeared to be going out of bounds. Nabea with a touch over the net. The set from Lenkadeur, the backcourt spike comes from Lippmann, and she lets out a roar of delight. Germany come out on top and get back-to-back -back points in this third set for the first time, reducing the arrears to just three. And nothing that Sato could do to dig that one out. Climbing to 2.8 meters to make contact with that one. It's 
Orthman serving. Flipping the net, and it's an ace. Well, Fortune favoring Germany on that occasion. Their first ace of the entire match. And a high risk jump spike serve of Orthman coming up. Look at that, 100 kilometers per hour on the serve. And the net cord just taking the majority of the speed off that, putting it beyond the reach of the Japanese defenders. Well, right on cue, Germany have rattled off three points without reply to get themselves, make that four points without reply to get themselves back to within one. Having been down 13 points to eight. It's a terrific fight back by Germany. Now right on the Japanese coattails. So a service error from Orthman. Brings that run of four points without reply. Germany posted to an end. Japan up by two. Germany. Looking for their first lead of this third set since they went up 1-0 by taking the opening point. Well reached by Nebea. Ishii puts it over on contact number three. Good scrambling by Japan. Ishii in action once again. Lenka Dirt with the dig. The set from Hanka. Oh, but she's put it over. The peak of the outstretched leap of Hanka. Excuse me, it was Pole who went to reach this one. There's the set from Hanka. And it was Pole who climbed up high. But the ball wasn't coming down. So a little bit of misplacement on that occasion. Japan leading by three. Not one long. And so at the second technical timeout, it is Japan with a four-point lead, having run off three successive points in response to the four-row run that Germany posted to get themselves back to within two. Japan 16, Germany 12, two-thirds of the way through this third set. So Nebea serving, 11 points in the match for her so far, second leading scorer for her team.
Good save by Lenka Dirr. Germany rallied to keep themselves in the point. Ishii with a clever touch. Terrific hustle in the backcourt by Barber. Germany gave it over. The point is still alive. Ishii climbing high. And this time putting it beyond the outstretched dive of Barber, who got down low to her right. But couldn't come up with the defensive play on this occasion. So Japan extend their lead to five, equaling their largest lead of this third set. So wholesale changes once again for Germany. Imaudu, Stigroth, and Drevniok into the match. Nabea serving, Japan leading 17-12. Difficult service reception from Lenka Dirk. And it results in an ace for Nabea. Her first of the match, one of the seven unreturnable serves that Japan have posted during this contest so far. It's their largest lead of the third set. They're up by six. Imaudu retrieving that spike off the reverse set. Imaudu in action once again. Lenka Dur hustling after it. Germany must get it over on this contact. They do so. Good save by Yamagishi. And then touched over into the vacant space by Akutagawa. Eight points in the match for her now. And Japan are racing away with this one. So Germany call timeout. They are trailing by seven, their largest deficit in this third set. And unless they produce a fight back like they did to go from 13-8 down to 14-12 down or 13-12 down, this is going to be a deciding and decisive third set for Japan. So Nabea serving, Japan 19-12 in front. That's a terrific put away by Drevniok. So a 6-0 run comes to an end. Posted by Japan, Scherzl serving. Block at the net by Stigroat for her first point of the match, having just checked into the game. And checking in now for Germany is Schwertzmann. Well, Schwertzmann, having served, was then put in the firing line, wearing that spike that was powered over from Karogo. Japan up by six at the 20 point total. In a commanding position here. As Ishii serves. It's a service error. So Germany having closed to within one at 13 12, courtesy of a four point run. Now looking to do similar here to get back into contention. Drevniok serving. 15-20, the score. What a save from Lenka Dirk. 
Climbing high is Stigroad, hustling after it is Ishii. She gets the second contact. Karogo puts it over on contact number three. Lenkado with the reception. The set for Stigroad. Cannons Ishii to the court. She's slow to get back to her feet, but still, it is Japan who prevail in that point. Karogo with the point-winning kill. What a terrific rally from Japan. Some terrific defending of the most determined variety. Watch Ishii defend for her team here, returning this thunderbolt. And then when the ball came back over, it was Karogo using the set from the Bayer, who powered down her 11th clean kill of the match. And it's only one point on the scoreboard, but Japan will take terrific momentum and encouragement from that. Miyashita into the game to serve. With Japan up by six. Ishii with the deep push over. Ishii then with the initial bump. Out of bounds on the block. And it's Japan who are edging ever closer towards match point. Koga climbing high, but the German duo at the net couldn't control the contact. Well, eight points is the largest advantage of this third set. Really, the manner in which this is being played out, the question now is how large is the margin of victory for Japan going to be here in the third set? It's an ace from Miyashita. An unreturnable serve, the eighth one of the match for Japan. Absolutely remarkable in that regard. And it brings up match point. Miyashita with her first point of the match. Here, looking to close it out at the first opportunity. Terrific save by Nabea. So that ends a run of four unanswered points that Japan had put together to bring up match points. So now, Miyashita returns to the bench, so too does Koga. High fives all around for Miyashita having produced her sole point of the match on that ace on the previous point to bring up match point as Stigroot prepares to serve, still facing match point to Germany. But a strong block at the net. Imaudu and Grunding combining to turn back the spike that was powered over. Let's see who got the decisive contact. I think it was Grunding. For a fourth clean kill of the match, still match point for Japan. And here it is. Watanabe receives the reverse set to go to eight points in the match on that, her seventh clean kill. And he didn't take it at the first time of asking, asking but make no mistake, as these handshakes are exchanged at half court between the respective coaching contingents. It is Japan who have been absolutely sensational in week two play here in pool six in the Turkish capital. Rolling through the entire round robin phase with a perfect 3-0 and record. Another straight sets victory they have earned, adding to the one that they opened week two play with. But here on this third day of action at the Baskent Volleyball Hall, they post a straight set victory over Germany. 25-23, 25-19, 25-17. And they have now won three VNL matches in a row for the very first time over the two years of this competition. So Germany, having started terrifically, 
with that huge win over Russia. Have now lost four VNL matches in straight sets in this season's campaign. That equals the number that they lost during the entire inaugural VNL season. So Germany now fall to one and five after two completed weeks of play. Whereas Japan improved to four and two. And look at what it's done for them in the standings. Hot on the heels of China in sixth position with an identical record of six matches played, four victories and two defeats. Just two points separating the top six. That's how competitive it is at the top end of the table in the race for the China finals in China. Well, Germany and Korea, identical records of one and five. Russia yet to play later on when they will face the host Turkey right here in Ankara. Well, it's another terrific performance by Japan who roll through week two play in pool six at the 2019 Vienna with a perfect 3-0 and record. Germany subjected to another straight sets defeat. Thank you for staying with us and thank you for being part of the game. Okay. Nice, eh?